Hello, this is another SOLIDWORKS feature in three minutes. Today we're looking at the sweep flange. Very handy feature. Top plane, sketch. We will draw a shape. Let's say something like that. Just add a little bit of context to it. We leave the sharp corner in there. It's a file. We'll say 200 millimeters. 150, then we'll add a 75. As we can see, all these radiuses are tangential. It's 35, and we will say 85. There is our fully defined sketch. Sheet metal, base flange tab, two millimeter sheet thickness, and add decay factor and the relief as well. Click, it's our base, then we add plain carbon for good measure. Okay, next minute, we want to create our sweep flange feature. So for this, we need two things. We need a sketch and we need a profile. So I'm selecting the side elevation. Click normal to sketch. Bring a line from the corner point up. Click. We're saying this line is a 40. And we close that sketch. That is our profile. Now we need to create our path sketch on the face. We'll just do a quick convert. We could use the underlying sketch, but we don't need to. Now we can take away the bottom line by just clicking trim. As you can see, we have a profile. So the profile is the outer drawing. So now we have a path and a profile. So we click sweep flange, we set number 12, which is our path for the first one and number 11 for our second. And you can see preview of the shape itself. So we add in the fall parameters, we add in our auto relief. For this, we are saying that we're gonna fold this piece, pin it back to our original, so you'd leave it outboard. You can reverse direction to put it inboard if required. That is our sweep flange. If we click and go, we have it. That is how you'd make a side wall. If we click on the flange, click flatten, that is the full length of the material required to go the whole way around that flange, which is 481.48 in length. Back to sheet metal, unflatten, and that is our, our component. As you can see, it sweeps the edges nicely as well. This has been another SOLIDWORKS feature in three minutes. Please like and subscribe and visit my channel for more tutorials. Till the next time.